When you use the new HDR mode in Lightroom, you can fully unlock the dynamic range from your RAW file and get a beautiful result like this that'll look amazing on a modern smartphone on Instagram. At the same time, not everybody has an HDR display just yet, and we don't want to leave things to chance. We don't want a result that looks like this if they don't have HDR support. What we really want is something that's optimized for HDR if they have it, but if they don't have HDR support, something that looks like this that's been optimized for the non-HDR, just SDR mode. It's the best we can do. It's not as good as the HDR, but it just ensures that whether you have a great phone or something a little bit older, you always get a result that looks amazing. And we're gonna combine these together into a game map that can be shared on Instagram to ensure that happens by using WebSharp Pro version six. All you need to do is just in Lightroom Classic, edit your image for HDR normally. And then we wanna create a virtual copy edited for SDR. So all I did was right click, choose to create a virtual copy. And then in the virtual copy, I turned off HDR mode, made a few slider tweaks, brought down the tone curve, and then I had a local mask here that I deleted. In the original, there was a sky mask, and I just didn't need that edit for the SDR, so I deleted that. But you can see that I have full control. Every option in Lightroom is available to me for both the SDR and the HDR, and now we're gonna combine them together using WebSharp Pro. So all we need to do is select both. So I'm gonna shift click to select both. Right click, go choose Edit In, open as smart object layers in Photoshop. When we do this, we're sending both versions over into a single document in Photoshop. You can see it's combining them now. And then in a moment, when Lightroom's done preparing this image, WebSharp Pro is gonna realize, hey, maybe these were meant to be an HDR SDR pair. And the reason for a little bit of uncertainty here is sometimes Lightroom opens up the image as a 16-bit document. It really should be 32-bit because one of these is HDR. And so it's going to be clipped in this view, which is what we see here. That's not correct. WebSharp Pro notices that and it's offering to automatically upgrade it to 32-bit so we can see the HDR as well as properly name and label these layers so that WebSharp Pro is ready to export for a gain map. So when I say yes, I'm just giving it permission to do all the work for me. I could have manually upgraded to 32 and put the SDR on the bottom and labeled it SDR but we're now set up to export our game map. And the way that WebSharp Pro interprets this is the image as it stands is the HDR when it's a 32-bit document. And then if the bottom layer or the bottom group, you can do either, says SDR, then that's the version it's gonna use as the base SDR image in the game map. So you're in complete control of both versions of the image and WebSharp Pro is just putting it together for you. So all we need to do is now choose the appropriate options for Instagram or threads. So you wanna go and choose the correct template name. So I'm gonna go with Instagram post. You could also use the threads options, but you wanna use one of these that says Instagram or threads because they require very specific encoding for HDR. And when you choose this, you're not just signaling the correct size, you're actually telling WebSharp Pro to use special encoding for Instagram or threads. And then the other thing to do is in settings, under the file section, you wanna make sure the HDR format is set to JPEG with game map. Once you have this and the size, you're ready to go. I oftentimes add these little explanatory labels on my images for just teaching the difference between HDR and SDR. I'm gonna turn this off. We're just gonna export a regular image. So we're all set up. All we have to do now is just click Sharpen and WebSharp Pro is gonna automatically do all the work for us, creating this file. And then in a moment, we'll open it up in Adobe's Game Map demo app. We can actually compare this result. So you see here, when uh, actually Mac OS Finder now showing an HDR result because this is an ISO game map and it's now supported in Quick Look. So I'm actually seeing the HDR result here and you see how it nicely matches my source file. But I'm gonna double click and open it up in the Adobe game map demo app, make it a little bit bigger. And this is a special app from Adobe available for free that lets you inspect game maps, which are the way that we encode both SDR and HDR. And it's telling us that this image has an SDR photo, a regular base image, and a game map, which lets us derive the HDR. So what we're seeing right now is a preview of the HDR result. If we just compare this to Photoshop, go to Photoshop here, you can see it's the exact same result with just the difference being that you know, my original is like 8,000 pixels and for Instagram, it's much smaller. So other than the loss of resolution, it's the same image. It matches very, very well. And at the same time, we also wanna have the SDR. So let's look at that. So here's the SDR in our original source file. And then in the demo app, 
you can see the SDR version by just simply controlling the headroom. So under automatic, it's using the headroom of my display. If I go to manual, you can simulate less capable display. So if I go down to zero, that's what an SDR display has. It has zero headroom. So this is the SDR result. And if we just compare these, you can see here's Photoshop, here's my game map. So we have a perfect match of the SDR and we have a perfect match of the HDR here. And so we've just ensured the exact result that everybody gets looks amazing. And if you wanna make things even simpler, you can add custom buttons to WebSharp Pro and I have a link below, but with these buttons, you can just one click export to Instagram or I can go click and get my threads export and it's just gonna auto generate this for me. So you can very quickly go straight from Lightroom by opening a Smart Object Layers, click your button in WebSharp Pro and you have a file ready to be uploaded to Instagram and threads as HDR with proper support. So here's my new export and you see it's all ready to go. Now to learn more about the HDR capabilities of WebSharp Pro version six, click to this next video.